the surge that we saw in the early 2000s uh, in the name of the Minutemen really was kind of a uh, temporary movement, it seemed, and they never uh, demonstrated the kinds of behaviors that we're seeing right now. Um, this group seems to have a permanent encampment there uh, as of uh, until Friday, this coming Friday. The El Paso Times, in fact, yesterday reported that the uh, Union Pacific Railroad and the Sunland Park Police have required them to move off the premises, and they are putting up, as I understand it from this story, no trespassing signs in that area. So it's not entirely clear what the future fate of the uh, vigilante group will actually be. But your point is exactly right this this is a more appears to be a more determined group and certainly uh, a group that feels more empowered to take law into their own hands um, and uh, doesn't seem to understand any of the consequences of their actions we think that these folks should be labeled vigilantes because they are taking the law into their own hands they meet every definition of vigilante they believe that they understand what the terms of justice should be better than what the law actually outlines for us and are are willing to actually go to the lengths of using heavy weaponry to uh, enforce the law as they see it should be done. I think they only adopt the name militia for the purpose of trying to associate themselves with some sort of constitutional narrative that they think justifies their actions when in fact they are just a lawless band of, of individuals who are misguided, misguided in their intentions. And do you have any sense of what the uh, the Border Patrol relationship is to these groups? Does the Border Patrol uh, uh, discourage uh, uh, citizens from taking action, or does it welcome the uh, support of some kind by uh, locals? Great question. I think this is one of the outstanding questions that we have right now. Um, there's plenty of video evidence. I think you just showed some that suggest that the Border Patrol is actively collaborating with these folks, despite the fact that they've made a public statement saying that they neither condone nor endorse their activity. Um, we have plenty of video documentation showing Border Patrol showing up uh, to, to uh, take the folks that they have illegally detained into custody. There are pictures of, uh, of the, the Constitutional Patriots folks um, posing in photos with Border Patrol on horseback. The, 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 there seems to have been a fairly easy uh, and cooperative relationship between the, the uh, vigilante group and the Border Patrol. And, you know, the question I am left with is, why did no one tell these folks to cease and desist? And if the Border Patrol is, in fact, a law enforcement agency, even if they themselves were not going to initiate an investigation into these folks, why couldn't they have called upon FBI to look into to the matter. Um, we met with the U.S. attorney here in New Mexico late last night, late yesterday afternoon, and asked him what has been done to tell these folks to stop what they're doing. Um, and, you know, he could only share so much, but it's my understanding from, I have been given no evidence to say that any federal authority um, has told these folks they need to stop what they're doing. And so, you know, our key concern is that um, families' safety, there's families' welfare is at stake here. You look at those videos and what you see is um, literally dozens of families huddled in the sand in a remote part of the desert in the dead of night, surrounded by men in military camouflage, masked many times with uh, heavy weaponry, semi-automatic weapons in some instances, you can only imagine a situation where somebody reaches for something in their pocket, pulls out a cell phone, and it looks like a firearm, and you have a gunfight that ensues. Um, that, that, those kinds of tragedies are the ones we have been really trying to move to avoid.